are coming on here to do a weekly wind up. So I have my iPad here with me. So let's pull out some TMZ type stuff, see what's going on. As far as what's going on with me this week, I was home all week from work. I um, still trying to heal from my sprained ankle. So that's what I was doing. I'm no longer taking drugs. <laughs> so we're gonna have some Fruit Loop vodka tonight. This is probably going to be the, well, this is going to be the last time we're going to do any kind of alcohol for a while. I am going to keto on Monday, so if you guys aren't familiar with that, you can check like two videos back. That'll kind of explain to you my um, experience with ketogenic diet and why I'm going to do it again. So, let's enjoy this while we can and next week we'll probably do a weekly wind up it'll probably be with maybe juice or maybe i'll do it right before i work out and i'll take some pre-workout and we'll do a weekly wind up with pre-workout i don't know we'll see what happens but for tonight vodka oh my god so do any of you guys remember like pm dawn do you remember that at all let me try to find one of their songs i'll play a little snippet for you in case you don't know but if you don't know, like, why are we friends? <laughs> like, legit, totally 90s, totally my era. PM Dawn, set adrift on memory bliss. Forever. Ads. One more freshness. YouTube ads. I drink to you, my friend. <sighs> sad, 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 sad. My high school years. Oh, Prince B, he was 46. He wasn't that much older than me. All right, what else do we have going on here? T.I.'s stepdaughter was busted for toting a gun at the airport. Well, if they pull guns from everybody, I guess she'll have to give hers up, right? So apparently Nick Cannon's going to sign the divorce papers for Mariah Carey. Whatever. That's like, um, hashtag rich people problems. <laughs> Meatloaf collapsed at his concert. I know somebody, I can't remember who it was. Somebody was just at a Meatloaf concert. Um, and I was like, oh my God, I remember him. And yeah, so he collapsed. But they said it was due to dehydration. So I guess he's okay, but I don't know. Okay, so if you guys saw my video before, I was like really harsh the night that I heard about the gorilla. Um, and the kid falling into the gorilla cage. And I still stand by everything that I said that day. But I'm gonna say this. A lot of people are saying a lot of things about the gator attack. There's a difference between the gorilla and the gator. Difference is a child died, okay? So let's not compare the two. Let's not do that. Let, yeah, let's not do that, please. It's kind of like one of those things, you know, like if you're a mother, right, and your kid does something and like you see them and you're like why did you do that you could have felt if you would have died i would kill you like that kind of thing like that's your reaction it's kind of like thank god everything's okay now let me like yell at you so you never do something stupid like that again but like if your kid really got hurt you're not going to like be like you're so stupid it's like that kind of like parental like shaking some sense into you kind of thing so let's leave the mother alone okay like they're going through enough. Could you imagine? Like, and, okay, and look, let me also say this. I don't travel, okay? I live in Maryland. I don't travel. I don't deal with gators. Like, okay, yeah, like common sense after the fact, like, oh yeah, I guess gators can go anywhere where there's water and they could just like come up. But like, you don't really think of that. And I know that there were signs, but the thing is, is like, if you have a, and I don't know the whole story, so I'm just talking like off the cuff, but if you've got a, a whole like lake or pond or whatever it was that they were at and you have a sign in one section, you may not have seen the sign. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm just saying somebody's kid died. So like, give him a break. Seriously. Compassion. Can we have that? Maybe just a little bit. So apparently little Wayne was taken to the hospital again. He says it wasn't the scissorp. He said he didn't take his meds. I don't know. I mean, what do y'all think? Do you think it was the meds or do you think it was scissorup? I drink vodka. Wine, not scissorup. I, isn't that kind of like what um, Jägermeister is? Like, isn't like Jägermeister's kind of like that cough syrupy kind of thing? I, I don't know what these kids do these days. 
I'm too old and out of it. I really didn't want to get political, but I do want to say this. The Orlando shooting at the nightclub, the father said that he blames Pulse nightclub for not having enough security and people there with guns to stop his son. So therefore, it was their fault. What? I didn't even know what to say when I read that. I'm like, are you serious? Seriously, like, oh, okay, so. Whatever. That's pretty much it for TMZ. So let's take a look at Texture, see what they've got to say, see what's going on there. I haven't really read any magazines. I don't, I have no clue. Okay, so Kate Middleton is apparently pregnant again. But I think I just read somewhere that her marriage is not doing so well. I don't know. So apparently Tori Spelling and Dean, whatever his name is, they're gonna have another baby. So apparently they're, they're strapped for cash, which means that they're broke, which means that they have way more money than I do. <laughs> and they're gonna have a fifth baby. If you're that strapped for cash, maybe you shouldn't have another kid. Just my thoughts. We don't want you guys to like have to live like me or anything like that. Bethany? What? So apparently Bethany Frankel is dating a married man. <laughs> wow. Mm -mm -mm. So, apparently she was going after another housewife for sleeping with a married man and now she's sleeping with a married man. So, practice what you preach, I guess. Um, confused. Well, that's pretty much it for Star Magazine. Let's see what else we got. Uh, us. Alright, so that kind of looks like it's it for the week. There's not a whole lot of stuff to talk about other than getting into like completely political stuff. And I kind of want to stay away from the completely political things um, just because I think we get enough of that. Honestly, on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere else, political stuff out the wazoo. And to be honest, most people don't want to have an honest, open conversation. They want to say, you're wrong, I'm right, that's it, boom. So we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to do that. All right, so as I was saying, we're not going to get political. We are going to love each other, right? We're going to love each other. I just want to be like nice to one another. I like all you guys. I respect everybody's opinions. Um, but I will also say that I have a, well, whatever. We're not going to get, we're not going to do politics. We're not, we're not doing politics. I'm not gonna do that. That's mostly what all the news and everything is about is politics and we're not gonna talk about that. So if you guys have something else that you guys wanna talk about or that you saw this week that interests you, then leave me a comment below. Let me know what's going on in your world. And we're gonna end that right here. Have a good night, cheers, not much vodka left. Next week, water or something non-alcoholic. Bag is amazing. Before we actually get into it, into it, we got the card. Obviously, obvi, you can say. It's really all about the like graffiti. 